If you've played Animal Jam before, you've probably looked up how to get rare on Animal Jam. You'll find thousands and thousands of videos about which methods truly work and are effective. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out different methods to prove their success rate and which methods are the best for getting rare. I've seen a lot of people begging so I decided to try this strategy out. Later on I decided to make a new account as people could be biased towards my account. Also this person tried to troll me with this RAM HD. Not that. So there's that. When I received this wristband for the rim is really when I realized I think we need to make a new account. So I decided to make an account from scratch. Here is me making the account from scratch. I'm going to keep the username private though so no one finds out um, what my username is. So I was logging into my old main to find claws and I realized I got hacked. So. Anyways, let's ignore me getting hacked. Here we're going to try out the plushie method. So the reason I wanted all these claws were to put them in my member den and then later on play on my non-member den. I'm going to be following Queen Wolf 72s video on how to get rare. In her video, she states to build a plushie in a toy shop, get rims, get those rims for clothing betas, overall get a den beta, and then when you have enough den betas, trade up for an orange long. Here I'm just decorating my plushie shop and I got some extra gems from Peck, thank you. Uh, so I got some trades, and I'm not going to be sharing all of them because there's a lot of them, but you get the general idea, I'll show the most important ones. But I noticed an issue, apparently clothing betas where it's went down, while they're still worth 15 rims, you need 10 to 15 to trade for a den beta. Before this was 3 to 4, this means I was going to need to grind my plushie shop a lot more. Also here, this person didn't have anything to trade uh, for the link, so I just gave it to them for free. I got some extra items, here I got another plushie and a rim, here I was trying to make friends, ignored. Help, that was really embarrassing. Okay, so I kept trading my plushies and I got a couple rims. I normally would trade them for two to three rims. Here I got some extra toys and I decided to let me decorate with these toys. Um, also, try to get two to three, but if you're really greedy, try to ask for clothing betas because I really re noticed that they were decreased. I noticed I'm a little unclear on what I'm saying, but I mean they decreased in worth. So try to ask for clothing betas and sometimes people might give you den betas, especially for these pe special plushies such as uh, my links. Also, definitely try to get some diamond spike collars. Everyone loves diamond spike. They loved over trading for them, and I noticed huge success. Here, I was actually able to get a clothing beta for one of my toys, which is amazing. Here, I was getting able to get another clothing beta, which is amazing. And here, and again, for uh. So as I was watching the videos, I just watched gambling on Animal Jam Classic by Seven Road Seven, and all these videos are going to be linked down below in the description, so you can watch them for yourself. So I decided to try this. Please be careful if you're gambling. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's against TOS, but apart from that, it's very easy to get scammed, and a lot of people I played that I ended up beating did not give me a prize, which is completely fine, but just be a man of your word, please. So with gambling, you can double or even triple your worth, which is why it's a very alluring strategy for me. I decided to gamble on clothing betas most of the time, so later on I did get an item worth 10 betas. Um, well, actually, just one 10 beta. But here, you're just seeing me at 4 gem. I ended up beating everyone except for one person um i didn't get finished with that but i gave them their prize and that's the only person that's beating me in four gym so if you want to play me in four gym send me a jag and let's play so as i said i ended up beating most people and this person actually ended up giving me a uh, warn so normally gambling honestly it's a pretty easy strategy however it's very risky i watched papa's video and i decided to profit trade i got an orange short spike which was insane thanks so much to this person they ended up giving me more stuff later on here i traded all a spike and a couple rims for a clothing beta which was honestly under here i got some rims for a plushie and then i decided to go back to the gambling strategy so i'm gonna be swapping strategies here and there um i ended up being this person too but they didn't end up giving me a prize uh, apparently they didn't understand so that was fine i didn't care but I was going to say, that's what's really risking about gambling. And also, you could risk losing all your items. So I definitely kind of stay away from that. And honestly, go more toward the plushie shop. However, the only thing with the plushie shop, it is very slow. You're not going to get that many customers. But there is a couple of kind people who will definitely check out your plushie shop. And I ended up just going to people's den and asking them, Hey, do you want to check out my plushie shop? Then I proceeded to beef with this person, which is actually kind of funny, but it's fine. I was like, uh, I don't care, whatever. And I just decided to go back to trading. I didn't really try gambling until like one other time. Here, I got a clothing beta for one of my plushies, which was pretty good. Uh, here, I've made friends with this croc who 
was like apparently people were being mean to him so i definitely wanted to be his friend and go be his friend too i'll put his username down below in the comments and he was so sweet he gave me a clothing beta here was another gambling i got this grocery bags which is worth clothing betas or a dem beta so that was amazing and i ended up getting a really good trade for it here i got a warn for thorn spike which is actually in stores so that was really a uh, great trade and i just kept racking and racking up warns um, it took a lot for them to like accept so we got scared here i got another clothing beta for one of my rams here i got a couple clothing betas and also a person traded me like tails and snow rough i don't know why i didn't get it on camera i'm pretty sure i was getting like yelled at or something also here comes back the person that gave me the orange short to give me so many clothing betas they're so sweet y'all but i didn't have enough inventory space but they were so um nice to redo the trade here i got more clothing betas for the tail and that was a great trade whoever traded me the tail here i got a, a floor for um the grocery bag and here i got an epic feather tail which is worth an orange short okay so here uh i got another spike collar and here i got two wristbands for my epic feather tail here i got a uh, clothing bit for the adventure items this is why i say adventure items are really good here i got another clothing bit and a room for another now as you see in most of these trades i trade the adventure prizes for like clothing betas and honestly definitely try to get adventure prizes here i got a blue mount which was amazing compared to the fact that it was a floor and i just ended up doing more trading here i was trying to get rid of some rims and i got a fox up for a patch hat and here was a super lucky trade thank you so much to this person again i continued trading and i traded like around 15 rims for this um bone arrow so actually 13 sorry here are all the spikes and i was gonna try to trade them from dem betas as in queen wolf's video she tries to get an orange long so that was my goal five dem betas for the pink three to four for the orange three for the black two and three for the blue and like two to one for the rest this person gave me three dem betas because they said it was really nice uh, then for the pink i got two non-member dem betas and two member ones which honestly was a pretty fair trade so i took it uh, then here I got really lucky, three dem betas plus a claw which is worth two to three dem betas. Here I was just trading clothing betas for another dem beta and this person again was so sweet. They were like, can I empty my inventory? And they gave me dem betas and a lot of items worth dem betas. So thanks so much. I ended up having 15 dem betas plus the claw as you can see here. Some of them are non-member. And as for spikes... Uh, the orange one is from the beginning of the video before, so I'm going to be giving that away in the comments, and the other two I can use for the future video. Now, I am going to be trying to get a headdress on this account, so if you guys have any trading tips or strategies that you want me to test out, uh, comment down below, and I will be gifting wristbands, um, not only the one that you guys saw in the video, but other ones. Uh, so just leave down a uh, trading strategy, your username, and your status. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the following series. Make sure to join the Discord down below in the comments. There's a giveaway in there, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!